close your eyes and breathe in a way that's refreshing, a way that feels good all the way down inside. Because when we meditate, we're doing something that's called meritorious in English. We still haven't found a good translation for the word bunya. It has to do with happiness, it has to do with your inner worth, your inner quality, all those things. They're translated as merit. It's the goodness that you create that leads to happiness, and also it leads to happiness not only for yourself, but also for other people. It spreads around. All the forms of merit, generosity, virtue, meditation, are like that. The way we look for happiness out in the world is that we gain something, but it means somebody else has to lose. Or they gain, we lose. But this, with this, nobody loses. Everybody gains. You gain a sense of quiet in the mind, a sense of peace and well-being, a sense of solidity inside. Something that we all need, because the world is such a, a wash of currents. It's like being stuck in the ocean. This current goes north, that current goes south, and sometimes currents get into whirlpools, sometimes they create huge waves that crash. There's very little out there that you can depend on. Even your own body is going to wear away bit by bit by bit. The same applies to other people. So we're going to look for something that's really solid. We have to create a solid goodness inside. That's what we do when we meditate and when we're generous and when we observe the precepts. This solidity is what gives us something to hold on to. The Buddha calls it an island. It's a place where you can get up out of the waves and the currents and all the, the dangerous animals there in the ocean. And you've got a place where you can rest and a place where you can gather your strength and be secure. So try to take advantage of this. In the beginning it takes a lot of work, but then the payoff is really good. So you work at getting the mind to settle down and just staying here. What other concerns you have at the moment, you don't have to think them at all. Just put them aside, put them aside. Any issues you have with other people, just wish them goodwill. May they be happy, may you be happy. And let all those issues dissolve away. Some things in the world and really should dissolve away quickly, should be swept away by the currents, and yet we hold on to them. We're holding on to many of the wrong things. We have animosity toward this person, resentment toward that person. It's not a good thing. Let it wash away, wash away. You maintain this island inside where it's secure and at peace. That's what you hold on to. Our problem is that we're floating around the ocean. We have to hold on to anything that comes floating near. We we'll grab onto all kinds of stuff, all kinds of garbage, thinking that it's going to be a, a place for us. And even, or even not thinking much at all, we just grab on without thinking about what we're doing. We have to think about what we're holding on to, what we regard as having value. And remember that the value that comes from being generous and being virtuous and meditating, that's something of rock solid solidity. That's something you really can depend on. So let everything else go. Hold on to this. Because this is where safety lies.